Prince Harry and Meghan Markle should be stripped of their royal titles, with the Queen instead handing the honor to one of his brother Prince William's children, a former diplomat has said. And Adrian Hill warned Harry his sniping at his family is must stop and that he and his wife needed to understand they cannot have it both ways by only accepting publicity when it suits them. Mr Hill told Express.co.uk, if Harry wants to become a Hollywood star, that's up to him, but for myself as a person who regards himself from Sussex, lived there 30 years, plus mother's family, one cannot help wondering why the Queen's advisers allow Harry and Meghan to carry on claiming a connection with Sussex let alone as Duke and Duchess. There are two Dukes already resident, one at Arundel and the other at Goodwood and both families do a great deal for the local community. Both are in West Sussex so a Duke and Duchess would have brought something glamorous to East Sussex. Mr Hill, a former officer in the Royal Engineers who among other diplomatic posts worked as a member of the Channel Tunnel team at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office and the Cobra Committee of the Cabinet Office, added. I know Sam Goldwyn said there's no such thing as bad publicity, only publicity, but I cannot see anyone in America taking a holiday in Sussex thanks to Harry and Meghan. I'd rather their title was handed across to one of William and Kate's children, someone who would do their best for the county. He added, Sussex needs someone who is more concerned about the welfare and prosperity of the people than two spoiled rich business stars obsessed with their own problems. Maybe the people of Sussex should hold a vote, that's how we got Brexit. Mr Hill, 80, also said Harry and Meghan had thoughtlessly since the recent death of Harry's grandfather, the Duke of Edinburgh, whom Mr Hill first when he was aged 15 while attending Outward Bounds Moray School at Burghead. Tensions have been simmering ever since Harry and Meghan's explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey earlier this year, during which they claimed one unnamed royal of making remarks about how dark then unborn baby Archie's skin would be. Harry also appeared to hit out his upbringing in the royal family in a subsequent interview on Dax Shepard's Archair Expert podcast and Apple TV Plus docuseries with Oprah Winfrey which were broadcast just weeks after Prince Philip's death. The couple waded into fresh controversy after confirming their decision to name their newborn baby girl in honor of her great-grandmother's nickname as a child. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are understood to have instructed their lawyers to send a legal letter to the BBC over suggestions that they did not ask the Queen for permission to, to use the name Lilibet, claims the couple deny. A spokesperson for the couple added, had she not been supportive, they would not have used the name. Mr Hill said, I hope they asked the Queen first or asked Charles what he thought or asked William what he thought. Harry started off very well, serving in the army, a tour in Afghanistan and then the Invictus Games, a major achievement that improved the lives of many, many young people. Full marks by any measure. However, he added, since he teamed up with Meghan we have lost the old Harry and have this mixed up character, he's too old to be allowed the follies of youth, and all seems to be about how to make money out of winging and sniping at his family. To do this after the Queen, and the nation, have just lost Prince Philip is pretty thoughtless. Mr Hill, 80, added, I think Harry has to accept that he can't have it both ways. If your brother is a future constitutional monarch then mouth discipline is part of the institution. I don't think the Queen needs worry, she's still doing a fantastic job and the only thing I would tell her if I were her press secretary, two friends of mine were, not to worry if people repeat what you say to them, indeed put things the best way, and that relies on the good advice of your press secretary, and there are many subtle messages that you put across about tolerance and understanding of others. Good Christian values for a start and that includes tolerance of other races and religions. Where does that happen most? in the Commonwealth of which she is head.